Hello, Guyana. Hello, leaders of Guyana. Those sitting in the government. The Lord bless you. I'm here on an assignment the Lord has given me. It was last week, Wednesday the 26th, I was praying. And while in prayer, the Lord began to open up some things to me and reveal to me what he has intended for those in government. I was minding my own business, so let's jump into this. The one who's sovereign, who rules and reigns in the affairs of men, in the whole world, and who sits high and looks low, spoke these things. While praying, he let me in on Guyana's business and what is in the pipeline. Amos 3, 7 declares, Surely the Lord does nothing unless he reveals it or his secrets to his servants, the prophets. The Lord said, Tell Guyana, I will move in the ministry of government and will start with those who call on the name of the Lord and who are identified with him. This is what he said. He said the level of compromise and wickedness they are partakers of. He is aware of it all. He said to tell them if they do not repent. That is those who call on the name of the Lord. He will start with those who are identified with him and who call on his name. He said, if they do not repent, he said he will make them examples of public, of public spectacle by exposing and uncover, covering what they do in the dark. The others, he said, he will visit by the sword. They will eat of the fruit of their doing. It will be made known to the world. God said, I will expose your nakedness, Guyana, to the world and bring you to your knees. Then you will know I am the Lord God Almighty who rules and reigns in the affairs of men. Then he took me to Psalms 24. The Lord took me to Psalms 24. And as I began to read Psalms 24, one of the things that was profound and stood out in relation to this chapter here is those with clean hands and pure hearts. Let me read Psalms 24 for us. The earth is the Lord's and all its fullness and the world and those who dwell therein. For he has founded it upon the seas and established it upon the waters. Who may ascend into the hill of the Lord? Or who may stand in his holy place? He who has clean hands and pure heart. Who has not lifted up his soul to an idol? He who has clean hands and pure heart, who has not lifted up his soul to an idol, nor sworn deceitfully, he shall receive blessings from the Lord and righteousness from the God of his salvation. The Lord said only those with clean hands and pure hearts will ascend to a high place, will ascend or elevate or be promoted or will prosper. Okay, wickedness will not ascend. Promotion comes from the Lord. Promotion don't come from man. Man cannot promote us. God is the one who promotes. He sits high and he looks low. And he is the one who promotes salvation means nothing lacking nothing missing it is complete 
in salvation it is complete salvation is completion nothing lacking nothing missing so he is the one who gave salvation he is the one who restores in him there was be there would be nothing lacking nothing missing it will be complete it will be a complete work everything is made new by god and will be saved and brought to a safe place in god and by god thus only those with clean hands and pure hearts will enter in that safe place wickedness and evil will not rather destruction and disaster awaits wickedness judgment knocks at your door judgment knocks at your door but know today that if you relent from your evil and repent god will also relent from the judgment against you Matele koshida outside of that safe place the wave is coming and it will hit real hard only god can save and preserve and protect start calling and looking to him start calling and looking to him god is faithful and his mercy endures to all generations in judgment his hands is still stretched out in judgment his hands is still stretched out the lord bless you shalom i would have delivered the word or the message of the lord